your friend uh, Larry Kudlow made the mistake of calling it NAFTA uh, in, a, in a presser recently. Oh, I know. It's not, it's not I NAFTA. I know. Donald Trump is the master of branding. We must. It's, it's not, well, he tr- I, it dawned on me when that happened that, oh, you know what? Donald Trump has been so hard on NAFTA. No matter how much this agreement looks like NAFTA, they certainly cannot call it any version of NAFTA, right? So it has, has a different name. But when I look at that, I see obviously on both sides, I see more politics than economics. I see one well, group being advantaged Robert, over what, another. What treaty was ever negotiated that wasn't <laughs> politics? Uh, so who, we who, about do you, who, who, who do you think negotiates treaties? Politicians. Yeah. It's, it's, it's favoring maybe automakers or farmers or whomever at the expense of the people who are not at the table. Is, is, is that the way you see it as well? And then practice then, is, when you talk about the means. These, these, really... these treaties go on for probably thousands of pages, and I'm sure you can find things about them that you don't like or that favor some at the, at the disadvantage of others. You know, the, the, the thing that you know, Trump's been hammering poor Canada about is uh, their, uh, their farm dairy. price stuff. You know, dairy yeah, in particular. Right. There. I'm from there. So know, yeah. the, there's a case where the new rebranded NAFTA has helped move Canada in the direction of liberty. Absolutely. So but there was a na- cost. Name, name what you think is a part of this that moved in the wrong direction. Well, if so, so that's good. Obviously, if you're if you're Canadian and you get access to a higher quality or lower price dairy, if you're a U.S. dairy, that's good, and we'll have political okay, so, consequences. Okay, so so far it's good for everybody. Uh, absolutely, but it's always <laughs> the people, the unseen, right? Isn't that what it's all about? So, what did Canada get for this? And they must have got something. Well, the Canadian people got higher quality, lower price. No, no, food. but what did they negotiate in terms of, I mean, I don't know all the ins and outs of the deal, but there's always something, right? So we get some concession, they get something, and there's someone who's not at the table who loses out, right? I mean, they got those tariffs to start with somehow, right? So the American consumers of dairy got screwed at some point because of, because of a free or a trade deal. So I'm just saying, do you, I see more politics than sort of the ends, the, the noble ends that you talk about 